Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza 4 Remastered. In the last session we have been helping out this girl, well sort of helping her out, getting her into a position to potentially pass the test where we will then help her out with a hundred million loan which is quite a lot of cash. And uh, we are now going over to a bar over here and uh, yeah we'll see where the story goes. Hmm. Is it somewhere in here? Yeah, I think so. Though, I don't remember this building being here before. Really? It's been around at least as long as I have. Probably way longer. Do you think we could head inside? I'd like to see it for myself if you don't mind. Oh, uh, sure. Wait, I do know this building. It really brings back memories being up here. Yeah. Though back then it was one of the taller buildings in the area. It really stood out. I probably didn't recognize it because of how small it seems in comparison nowadays. Did you used to come around here a lot? I lived here, yes. Honestly, it feels like that was a lifetime ago. Huh. Those were the days. Sure, I was always broke and lived in a tiny apartment, but life was good. Lily. Tell me something. Why are men always so busy looking upward? I'm sorry? They work themselves to death for that one big break, and they end up forgetting the girl by their side in the process. I suppose a guy in my line of work is kind of biased, but whether it's family or the one you love, it's tough to make anyone happy without money. Men tend to take that responsibility pretty seriously. We're all desperate to claw our way up to someplace stable. That's my theory anyway. I'd be fine without all that. If things had just stayed the same, well, I would have been the happiest girl in the world. So you can't stand how money changes people, yet you still came to me for a loan. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? I never really cared about it before, and now I need it more than anything. Life's good at throwing you curveballs like that. Makes you wonder though, why does money make the world go round anyway? Kind of Is it just me or is that very sudden? How did you get out of it? How did の気持ちになったのか。別れた恋人の話。なあ。でも振られちゃった。本当にどうしてさあ。あの頃俺にお金がなかったからかな。ああ。見せつけてくれるじゃねえか。俺たちにも <笑> また柴田組か。あんたらも懲りないね。そんなと。ああ。舐めた口聞いてんじゃねえぞ。柴田のことを分かってて喧嘩売ろってのか。そうだそうだ。柴田組のことなら
Howdy, bitch. Okay, can't grab that guy, sure. We better get out of here before more show up. Come on. Phew. We should be safe here. What, in a public park? Not sure you'll be safe here. Sorry you got dragged into that. It's been an interesting couple of days. It's okay. Is it, though? <laughs> they were trying to kill him. You understand that, right? You understand that this is probably not someone you want to get involved with. Hey, you all right? You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Much as I hate to say it, we should probably call it a night. I'd hate to run into more of them. You're probably right. Well, do your best tomorrow, all right? I'll swing by and check in on you if, you, if I can. Okay. Good night, Akiyama-san. Chapter 4, The Promise Still no swap to kill you. So that's why the Shibata family's been on our asses this whole time. Yup. And how are things on your end? Any luck tracking down a Raisan? Not in the slightest. Not yet. I see. Tojo HQ's got the entire clan looking for him though. I'm sure it won't be long before they find him. They'll serve him up to those Ueno bastards on a silver platter if we don't do something fast. Yeah, things aren't looking so hot. I can't just sit on my ass and wait. I gotta go find him. At least before HQ does. I have to know the truth. I mean, he'd never do shit like this without a good reason. Listen, Kido-chan. Let's say a Raisan does have a reason. How exactly are you planning to explain that to the Tojo clan brass? Hmm? Huh? What do you mean? Remember, their relationship with the Ue Ueno Siwa has gone sour. But all that gets swept under the rug if they hand over a Raisan. The Tojo doesn't really give a damn why he did what he did, or even if he did it at all. The only thing that matters is that he's their way out. So what, he just gets to be their sacrifice? Pretty much. But he... Look. Arai-san's a smart guy. He knows this isn't about whether or not he can prove he's innocent. That's why he's gone into hiding. So, what do we do? Take it. Huh? What's this for? This is the only way I can help now. Find Arai-san before the Tojo clan or police do. We can worry about the rest then. But Akiyama-san... Use whatever money you need to track him down. I've got other work to do, and you're the only person I can count on. Akiyama-san, why are you doing all of this? Let's just say it's an investment. Arai-san's worth it. I don't get it. Why do you care so much about arai Aniki anyway? Does it really matter? Yeah, actually, it does. I'm looking for him because I want answers. And I'm not taking this cash until you tell me what you're up to. Please, I need to know. Fine. Let me tell you in a cutscene. じさ、昔、俺さ。荒井さんに助けられたことがあったんだわ。え、沖山さんが荒井の兄貴に。ああ。ところでお前、俺が昔ホームレスだったって話は知ってるか。え、まあ、噂程度に聞いたくらいですが
秋山さんが銀行員ああ今から5年くらい前の話だなんかない ?I did not realize that was him in one of the He was one of the dudes in the picture. It looks very different. 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 Well, I guess they think he looks different enough as well because they're having her in the picture too, and she doesn't know that it's the same guy. Huh? What do you mean? だが現実は違った俺が当時担当していたとある会社の口座にあった100万円がある日突然俺の個人口座に振り込まれていたんだそれでクビですかああ何を言っても無駄だった銀行は俺を告訴しないことを条件に一方的に俺を懲戒免職処分としたその後俺は真相を探ったそれまでに貯めた金を使い方々を手を尽くして調べ回ったでも結局分からずじまいそのうち貯金も尽きてカムロ町で路上生活を始めたんだそれでホームレスですか金なんて簡単に増やせるって思ってたのにさ元手と信用がなければ何にもできないんだよ所詮俺は他人の金で遊んでいただけだったんだってその時初めて分かったんだえじゃあどうやって金貸しなんてやれるほどの大金手に入れたんですか拾ったんだよはだからさお金が降ってきたのそれからパーッとそれを拾ったのさいやいやいやいや本当だって知らないミレニアムタワーで爆発があってさそこから大量のサスタムが降ってきた事件あ知ってますえじゃあ秋山さんはその金をそうだいたい100万くらいだったから死に物狂いで拾い集めたよこの金さえあれば俺はもう一度人生をやり直せるってななんか運がいいんだか悪いんだか分かんねえ感じですね<笑>まあなだがその時の俺にとってその100万円は命と同じくらい大切な金だっただがそんな大事な金をこともあろうに俺は盗まれちまったんだ路上で寝ている隙にな誰にですか町のゴロツキさあの頃からこの町はホームレス狩りとか言って路上で寝ているホームレスを襲うような遊びが流行っていたからな。待ってください。それじゃあ、もしかしてその時に秋山さんを助けたのが。そう。新井さんだ。当時、新井さんは金村工業に入ったばかりのチンピラだった。そのチンピラが、俺から金を盗んだ連中から金を取り上げ、ホームレスの俺にわざわざ届けてくれたんだ。どうしてそんなこと新井さんは、涙を流して喜ぶ俺に言ったよ。俺がこの町を変えてみせますって兄貴俺はその時誓ったんだもし俺がこの100万円でのし上がれた時はこの人にかけてみようってかけるああこの人ならカムロ町って猿山のボスになれるかもしれないって思ったんだカムロ町ってのは弱いやつから強いやつまでいろんな連中が集まってくるいわば一つの群れみてえな場所だだが集まってくる奴らには一つだけ共通してることがある何ですか夢だよカムロ町に飛び込んだ人間は皆必ず夢を見てる夢いい女を抱きたい金持ちになりたいえばりたいどんなちんけなもんであってもここに集まる連中にはみなそれぞれの夢があるだがその夢を叶えられるやつはごくわずかだそして人は夢を諦めない生きてくのに必要なもんだからさわかるかはいみな
夢を見続けていたいだからこそこの町では人に夢を見せられる人間が求められているんだそれが新井の兄貴だとああ良くも悪くも人間ってのは強さに憧れる新井さんにはその絶対的な強さがある俺はそう思ってんだボスがいない猿山は機能しないこの町は今強いボス猿が必要なんだカムロ商店は今までずっとそのボス猿を極道に求めてきただが桐生一馬というカリスマが去った今ボス猿となれる人間はいない機能しなくなった町から猿は去っていってしまう強いボス猿を求めてななんか深い話っすねスープディープちょっと回りくどい言い方だったが要はそれくらい俺は新井さんにかけているってことだわかりました俺秋山さんの夢のためにも新井の兄貴を必ず見つけますこのお金はありがたく使わせていただきますお何か分かったら俺に連絡してくれはいただいまあ井戸さんあどうもすこう、OK。That took longer than I expected. Maybe I should go check in on Lily Chan. What are you talking about? You've got debts to collect. Hmm? Did someone have a deadline today? Today? Try three days ago. People don't pay on time unless you remind them. What if they skip town? All right, all right. So, uh, who are we talking about again? Why is it not. Is it bugging out? It's making the sound like it's. Scrolling the text like normal, but it's just not doing that. <laughs> it's just putting the whole text up at once. The owner of Marimba, that bar in the Champion District. Now go collect that payment. Marimba, right. Ugh, you promised you'd take care of it on time. But you went and blew it off like always. It's got, this has got to be a bug, right? Did I? Well, there's no time like the present, right? Just make sure you actually go this time. Yeah, yeah. Head to Marimba! Akiyama-san, this is Tanuma from Elise. Hey Tanuma, what's up? Lily showed up for work. If you have time to spare, you should come give her some pointers. Right, okay, be there in a bit. Great, we'll see you soon. Anna Chen's not gonna like this, but I better pop by Elise for a minute. Everyone's buzzing about Forex, foreign currency trades. Why not see how I can make your savings grow? You have nothing to lose. Guarantee of principle. Sheesh. People still fall for this currency exchange crap. Actually, I wouldn't mind seeing who's running this dog and pony show. Guess I could head over to Senrio Avenue for a few laughs at some point. I'm good. Isn't this the exact same place that there was a a locker key in the last game? I feel like I recognize it. Also, why is this big cone still here? This big cone has been here since Yakuza 1, which was like years and years and years and years ago now. Because I remember Majima was like hiding underneath it in one of the Majima everywhere things. <laughs> why is there- why? Why is there this one random big cone that has been here for all the years of the Yakuza games? Uh, here. Hey, I'm here to train Lily-chan. she in? Yes, sir. She's waiting in the back room. Oh, before you go, here are the funds we've set aside for her training. Please limit your spending on her to this alone. Guess I don't have much choice. Good idea keeping this separate from the club's finances, though. You got a hundred grand. 
I'll also assign Naoki to assist you. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you, sir. I'll help however I can. Sounds good. Now then, let me show you to the back room. Please pick out an outfit. Oh boy. I don't care about this minigame. Yeah, you look great. Wonderful. Looking good. Uh, get a feel for your customers' preferences. It is literally the same as Yakuza 3, huh? Fucking stroll around and come back. In extremely, extremely slow speed. With a three segment timer. Ugh. Why did they bring this back? It was so bad in Yakuza 3. Did someone actually think it was good? That it was worth bringing back? Because. Holy fuck, they were wrong. Wow, the same outfit sounds good to me. No, please. I love doing this. How exciting. Truly the most exciting. Oh boy, here we go again. What an exciting minigame. This is so fun. I'm so glad they brought this back and made it part of the main story. So good. Fucking garbage minigame. Now that's settled, it's time to pay Marimba a little visit. Just gotta stroll over to the Champion District. My kingdom for a run button. This is so fucking slow. Marimba, this is the place. Hmm? It's locked. Anybody home? Takiyama from Sky Finance. No response. Huh. Guess I'll just have to come back later. Huh? Drama Queen? This is the place Lily said she used to work. I don't... Hey cutie, you into that sort of thing? I'm sorry? You were taking a mighty long look at Drama Queen there. So what if I was? Oh, you naughty boy. You know that's an Okama bar, right? Heh, what am I saying? Of course you do. An Okama bar? You serious? Mm-hmm. And you looked awfully interested. Just saying. Don't worry, though. I'm not judging. Oh, it's not like that. It's just, I know this girl who used to work here is all. Sure you do. I'm in denial here too, honey. The manager here is totally my type, but he's straight as an arrow. Says he only dates real girls. Sorry to hear that. Not the most open-minded guy in the world, huh? Nope. But hey, forget him. Come have a drink over where I work. I'll give you a stiff one on the house. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to take a rain check. Things to do, places to be. You know. Maybe some other time, okay? Anything you say, hot stuff. I'll be waiting. Drama Queen's an Okama bar, huh? Why would Lily lie about working there? Maybe I should head inside. I mean, it's clearly been a long fucking time, right? So maybe it wasn't when she worked there or something? Sure, we'll go into the private section. What could go wrong? What? 
What the? Oh. He's... He's dead. Must have been like this for a few days now, by the smell of it. The Shibata family crest. I guess that means the owner was in cahoots with the Shibata. Ugh, it reeks in here. He's probably been rotting for a while now. Lighters with the bar's name on it. They probably hand them out to customers in the hopes that other people will see it. Viral marketing or whatever. These are just like the one Lily Chan had. Is that everything? Yeah. That's probably all I'm gonna find. I better get out of here before someone sees me. Drama Queen's manager is dead. Murdered, and a few days ago by the looks of it. He was practically naked too. Just like how Kido-chan found old man Kanemura. Was it the same killer? Maybe someone from the Shibata family? You okay, sweetie? You look like you just saw a ghost. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't sound okay. Why don't you come relax over at my bar? I appreciate the offer, but I've got places to be. Sorry. Oh, you're no fun. Head for Sky Fighters! Sticking around here will just land me in more trouble. Need to get back to Sky Finance. At top speed of very slow. Vibey music, at least. Love the soundtrack in this game so far. Chata, chata. Feels very distinct from the other Yakuza games. I give up. Why is he calling me uncle? Did they only do the first person thing in Yakuza 3? They were like, wow, this is fucking awful. Let's immediately take that out of Yakuza 4. ちょっと花ちゃん、大変だよ。うん。花ちゃん。花ちゃん。しっかりしろ。あ、社長。お帰りなさい。一体何があったんだ。それが Flashback. Ah, Kido, san, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just going to buy something. Ah, 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 sorry. I'm just going to buy something. どうしたんですか何か忘れ物とかいやちょっと秋山さんに確認し忘れたことがあって
携帯にかけたんですけど繋がらなくてああそうでしょう社長いっつも寄り道して遊んでるのを邪魔されるのが嫌で携帯の電源切ってるんですよおかげで仕事が片付かない片付かない<笑>秋山さんらしいですねお客さんって感じじゃねえなまた降りない人たちだな<笑>すみませんけど帰ってもらえます社長も外出してますしそれでも用があるって言うなら私が相手に危ない花ちゃん花ちゃんストウィ He kept telling me stuff I didn't even ask about. It sounded like the Hatsushiba clan were helping the Shibata family track down Kido san. They're after Kido chan? Where is he anyway? That's just it. Kido san was here when they showed up. Midori Kawa's guys jumped him. Then they hauled him off to who knows where. They took Kido chan? He didn't stand a chance. He was completely outnumbered. Hmm. Um, Chief? Oh, sorry. Just thinking about something. So they took Kido chan. The question is, why? No idea. Oh, that Midori Kawa guy also stole our client registry. It sounded like that's what brought them here in the first place. He said that he was just borrowing it, but I seriously doubt he'll be bringing it back anytime soon. A registry? What would they want with that? Who knows? I'm more worried about Kido san. Agreed. Sounds like I need to pay those Hatsushiba goons a little visit. Collect on what they borrowed. Go get them, Chief. Just don't do anything crazy, okay? I'm not gonna leave you like this, Anna chan. And where the hell's. where the hell are the cops? Didn't anyone see those bastards bust in? Don't worry about me. I already called for an ambulance. Heh. <sighs> you really are on top of everything, aren't you? Well, sit tight. I'm gonna go get Kido Chan and that registry back. You got it, Chief! Chase Midorikawa! Better start looking for leads on Midorikawa. Oh. Man, oh man, the perfect shot's so close I can almost smell it. Or did I forget to wear deodorant? Oh, fuck. Did. Oh. Did I just make the comment about the first person thing and then we're about to immediately go into... Here's your first person tutorial thing. Because this is that guy, isn't it? I can't remember what his name is. But isn't this the uh, photo guy? You there. Did you see those tough dudes flashing their muscles like it's nobody is, nobody's business? Nothing quite as dangerous as a thug with something to prove. But hey, that's what Kamurocho is all about. The glitz, the glamour, the gigantic guys shaking down passers-by. Not that I like that last part. Tough dudes? Maybe he's talking about Midori Kawa. Hold on there, buddy. Think we can talk for a sec. Sorry for flagging you down like that. Mind if we chat for a few? <laughs> of course not. I love talking to washed up porn stars. <laughs> I'm Mac, photographer by trade. Observe of humanity at heart, and I mean all of humanity. Right, and sorry to break it to you, but I'm actually a moneylender. I run a place called Sky Finance right over there. The name's Akiyama. I was hoping you'd be able to fill me in on those tough dudes you were talking about before. Yeah. Sure thing, Slick. Those scary looking dudes were fi filing down the street one after the other, like the world's least cheerful conga line. Wasn't sure what was happening, but I knew some something mega was about to hit. I was practically quaking in my sensible boots. Back up a second. You mentioned something about a shot too. Do you take pictures of this kind of stuff as it goes down? 
They, these aren't any old pictures, man. I've been traveling the world for what feels like eons, searching for the photograph to end all photographs. The perfect shot. Uh-huh. Look at me running my mouth like it's in a dang marathon. Akiyama-san, have you ever seen a sight so incredible it made you realize something about the nature of the world? Uh, not that I can remember. Folks call those revelations. A flash of inspiration. A spark in the old noggin. A rush of idea juice flooding your mind. Yeah, that's definitely never happened to me before. Then maybe it's about time it does. And what's more, these revelations hold the key to the perfect shot. I'm sure of it. Yeah, sure. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Anyway, about those tough dudes you mentioned. Yeah. Hold up, the greatest idea just snapped across my neurons. Maybe you can help me try to find the perfect shot. I really don't want to, man. I didn't want to last game. I don't want to this game. I'd really rather just hear about. Then it's settled. Come on, it's hunting time. And we're hunting the biggest game of all, art. Guess I'm just gonna have to put up with this nut job for oh. now. Don't look now, Akiyama-san, but I just caught a glimpse of something good. Train your eyes on that roof over there. Why does that fence not go all the way around the roof? Something's up with that lady, and you're gonna get a sh you're gonna snap a shot of whatever it is. All you gotta do is whip it out, your phone, I mean, and etch that moment into digital divinity. Don't worry, the government probably won't see your photos later. My phone camera, huh? All right, I'll see what I can do. Ah, fuck! I literally just made the comment about first person not being in this game, and that's like surprise. We brought back this pointless additional thing. was that? Uh, what? I suppose to click there. You didn't get the shot. Wait, what? What was I supposed to click? I didn't see anything hinting at what I was supposed to click. Uh, do I have to do this whole thing again? Oh my god, this is so garbage. Oh, it's so long and drawn out. Where's the fucking skip button? I've seen it. I don't need to see it again. Wow, this was funny the first time, it certainly isn't the second time.
Que é... Why is there no fucking skip button? I have seen this. Why are you making me go through the entire thing? Because you didn't explain what the fuck you wanted me to click at the end. Literally, what are, I don't... There's no... What does it want me to fucking choose? I have no idea why it wanted me to choose that one, but whatever. They brought back a shit mechanic from the last game and turned it into a shit mechanic in this game. Very cool. Went out onto Ke Tenkaichi Street. Great. Fuck off, Mac. Please never speak to me again. Please don't be in future games. Please, I beg of you. Better start asking around. Uh, what do I want? I got all of the heat move stuff, right? Yeah. Uh. Double Y. Uh, I'm just asking anyone. Hey, you got a second? Uh, sure, how can I help you? Did you see a group of Yakuza come by here maybe two, three hours ago? Yakuza? You know you're in Camarocho, right? That shouldn't be such a surprise. Oh, and they were probably dragging someone behind them. Hmm, there was something going on over here earlier. I could hear the shouting from all the way over on Nakamichi Street. Nakamichi? So you didn't see anything then? Oh, heavens no. If I had, I certainly wouldn't be standing here now like nothing happened. I usually turn heel and run when I see fights breaking out. Huh, okay then. Thanks anyway. Uh, this moneylender's been in one mess after another. I think it's called Sky Finance. Yeah, I heard about that murder from a bit ago. Hmm, maybe it was money problems? Just shows you shouldn't take out a loan from this kind of place. I think the problem is more with murder than their ability to finance a loan. Okay. Sky Finance got caught up in some trouble, but honestly, I'm not surprised. That Akiyama's a real strange guy. You know that Akiyama guy, Aniki? Of course I do. Ain't no one in Camarocho Underworld who hasn't heard of him. But I'd keep my distance if I were you. Yeah? I heard some Yakuza group busted into his place, though. The rich never got to fight their own battles. It's just stupid to start messing with them. Believe me, you don't want to ruffle Akiyama's feathers. I'd never do anything stupid like that. Excuse me, do you have a moment? What's up? Have you seen a group of Yakuza... Yes, they're dragging a guy through town. Up the street toward the theatre. Oh my god. the street towards the theatre. 